Where are they taking Pete? Don't you worry about him. What about Greg? Looks a bit empty, doesn't it? Like something's missing. Luckily, my sister's good at getting answers. She'll find out what you did with the rest of it. And if she doesn't, the two of us are gonna have ourselves a talk. I'm not gonna let you do this. Keep an eye on her. She's got a knack for starting trouble. Anything goes down and I'm blaming you. I don't take orders from you. You should reconsider. I'd say make yourself comfortable, but that's, uh, probably not gonna happen. Oh, we've gotta get out of here. They're gonna hurt Greg. These people... Will you be quiet so I can think? Fine. You go right ahead. I should have never involved my brother in this, and, and now you, I'm... Who knows what they're gonna do to him? Is Norma right? Did you steal those supplies? Well, I didn't steal the duffel bag, if that's what you're asking. This is my fault. I'm so sorry, I... I was just trying to protect my family, that, that's all. I never thought they'd go back to the ferry. I didn't know. It's not gonna be okay. No one's to blame but those assholes up there. Still, I... I just wanted to use the radio to reach people. I, I never expected that Randall would show up there. Not after... <sighs> Ties are too tight. You see anything we can cut him with? Anything with a sharp edge. Mob Jack. It's the name of the ferry. These must have come from there. Ugh. Never be able to slip my hand out. This used to be full? How should I know? Someone really loves their cigs. Same brand that was in the duffel. Uh, yeah? Hey, Sam. Are you looking? We gotta find something. Hey, Sam. Are you looking? We gotta find something. One of the Mobjack's first aid kits. This is why there was nothing left on that ferry. It's all here. What's going on? 
Do you need help? Just leave me alone. Please. I, I didn't mean to pry. I want to get out of this. I need you to tell me the truth. You saw those bodies back at the ferry? That was another group. We traded with them sometimes. Randall killed them all. Everyone. Even the kids. Came with his whole crew. And he just... murdered them. Son of a bitch! Norma told him to. She must have. Then they took what was left. That's why this stuff is here. That's what they do. They think they own everything on the water. Whatever they find, they take. And if you put up a fight... Well, you know what happens. They just... If you fight, they kill you. If there's anyone out there that you care about, don't tell these people a thing. Someone's coming back. The pipe's loose. Just a, a little more and I can get free. We have to get out of here. You with me? This is our chance. Whoever comes through that door, we jump them. We can do this together. It's now or never. What's it gonna be? The time's not right. I'll get us out of here, but not like this. Just wait and follow my lead. Okay, I'm trusting you. down here. Here I was, ready for a fight. Nice work. Kept it together. Which is good, because Norma wants to talk to you. Nothing but a friendly word. Come on now. I promise. What about Greg? Well, that's what Norma wants to talk to you about. So, Michonne. I overheard your friend call you that. That's a great name, Norma. <laughs> I always wanted to be a Veronica or Gwendolyn when I was a girl, but I've made my peace with it, I suppose. You're lucky, though. You got a name people remember. Michonne. Damn, that's good. A nice, strong name. You can stop kissing my ass. That's not gonna work with me. <laughs> sure thing, honey. I'm sorry about all this, but I just wanna talk, that's all. Then you mind taking these off? Sure, once I get to know you better. I know you're angry, but try to consider things from my perspective. Everything points to you stealing from me, from my people. That puts you and I on opposite sides of the fence. If that's not how you see it, enlighten me. Help me understand. If 
all goes well, I'd be happy to remove them for you. Just tell me what you want. Oh, now we're not gonna get along, you keep that up. There's no reason we can't be friendly. No need to be rude now. You're gonna help me get to the bottom of things. You do that, and you get to go home. Go on. Consider it a peace offering. No thanks. <laughs> That's too bad. Can't say I didn't try to be nice. So tell me, you and Samantha, how long you all been together? Haven't seen you before, but then you might have been lying low. We're not together. I don't know these kids. So you say. And what brought you to that ferry? Seems awfully strange you just stumble on it, out there in the middle of the water. It's just a little difficult to wrap my head around. You all ending up there together, at the exact same time? Our boat ran into some trouble nearby. The ferry was the only thing in sight. Your boat, huh? Hey, Zachary. Yeah? Get Janie to take a crew down by the shoreline. See if they can find this boat she's talking about. Bring anyone they find back here. If they need help, we'll take care of them. So how about your group? Are there others? I need to know who's with you. Can't act on incomplete information. I'm not telling you shit. I'd rethink that strategy if I were you. Maybe I haven't been clear. The only reason you're still sitting here is because I've decided to let you tell me your side of things. I suggest you drop this attitude of yours. Otherwise, this is gonna stop being so pleasant. Don't mistake my kindness for stupidity. You don't want to threaten me. No, I don't. But you put me in a difficult position. Look, I don't mean to lose my temper with you. From your side, I'm sure this looks bad. I get that. But there's more to this than you realize. Whether you're with him or not, there's something you should know about Samantha. That girl is a natural-born liar. She's good. I'll bet she laid it on thick for you. Said it was all her fault. She's sorry, and won't you please help her escape big, bad Norma? Am I getting warm? Wouldn't be the first time she fed that line to somebody. You almost believed her, didn't you? Yeah. She said something like that. See? <laughs> I knew she would. She's lied to us before. Stolen from us before. You can see why I might be just a tad frustrated. I mean, I let her go. No consequences. I don't see how this is my problem. You're sitting in this chair in front of me because she made it your problem. That's what she does. Drags people down. But that's why I'm talking to you instead of her. There's a fine line between being generous and being taken advantage of. Everyone deserves a second chance, I believe that. But never a third. Most people will take advantage if you let them. You give more chances than most. It's not easy. I'm trying to protect these people. That's what we do here. I bring folks in, see that they're fed, clothed, looked after. What about what you take from them? The salvage? We need the same things anybody does. We pool our resources, we survive. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. No more beating around the bush. Where's the rest of it? What? You say you weren't with those kids, but Randall caught you with them. You had this, but there's still much more missing. So, where is the rest of it? Bullets, and ammunition, handguns, and a couple of rifles. I've got no fucking clue. Of course you don't. 
Bring in the kid. What, what do you do it? Here's how this is gonna work. I know he's not gonna talk to me. His sisters probably fill his head with all kinds of stories. So you'll be asking the questions. 